I'm not only projecting a Katrina makeup look, but continuing to promote Mexican culture as well. I just get in front of the mirror and get started. I like to explore different techniques, different products, different colors altogether. And I also like sharing that with my kids because my son loves to see my creative process. My daughter wants to paint her face. Day of the Dead. People usually think that it's Mexican Halloween, but it's definitely much more different. There's so much culture behind it. The most important part is remembering uh, our loved ones, recognizing that they are coming during this time to be with us. Everything has uh, a meaning behind the celebration. Katrina's, which is what I do, is an iconic uh, piece. It started back uh, in the early 1900s. A famous uh, Mexican lithographer, Jose Guadalupe Posada, created this graphic image, La Calavera. Garbancera. That's when the Katrina first uh, emerged. He also said a famous quote saying, in the end, we're all skeletons. So basically, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, in the end, we're all going to the same place. And then after that, Diego Rivera, he was a muralist in the 1930s, 1940s. He then paints the Katrina in full body. Diego Rivera decides to put her in one of his most famous murals that is currently in Mexico City. Uh, and he calls her La Catrina, which is basically uh, a critique of the posh of the, of the, of the times. I fell in love with the Katrina makeup process. I love uh, Mexican culture. It was part of me to continue promoting it in some way. 